Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. It is about uh, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here in Michigan. I am uh, having my coffee. A um, couple hours ago, um, got up, checked my uh, local network, and found out that there is a pretty significant um, AT&T cell phone outage going on. First, uh, I checked my local sources, seem to be going on here locally, and uh, then I kind of spread my net out a little bit further to gather uh, more information and found out that it seems to be a nationwide problem. And uh, why am I telling you guys this? Um, one, to spread information, but two, to emphasize um, the importance of having multiple redundancies in your personal critical infrastructure. I don't know how else to uh, put it, but uh, have multiple sources locally, both uh, technological related like you know Facebook groups and uh, different people online that you can talk to have uh, you know multiple ways that you can get on the internet you know we have uh, we have our own uh, decent Wi-Fi here on top of the you know the cell services and that kind of stuff the more redundancy you have in your systems the better and another thing I want to talk about is human sources of information other people might have better sources of information and better networks than you do so you can rely on their systems and uh, one of the local systems that I um, seen here uh, it was basically uh, the local sheriff's office and the local dispatch and they were putting out information on how you can contact 911 outside of that system if their cell phone wasn't working important information like that and uh, also <clears throat> because I keep an eye on multiple different things. There were also multiple um, X-Class solar flares last night. And if you don't know anything about um, solar flares, space weather, that kind of stuff, they can affect technology. So what the reason is for this particular outage, we may never know. And that's uh, the whole fog of war type thing. A lot of times when problems happen, things happen, there's a lot of times the root cause of that is never established for whatever reason, either that they don't know or they don't want you to know. So uh, have multiple ways to get information, have multiple ways to secure your basic needs, whether it's um, keeping your house warm, keeping your house cool, having water, having electricity, you know, having food storage in case something happens with that disruption network. It's basically a just another way reason I guess uh, why uh, you should prep and you should have multiple uh, sources for everything that redundancy everything that you use on a day-to-day -day basis you should look at and you should find out how to have redundancies in uh, in those systems and uh, that's why I'm uh, putting this video out here today because it's just another real-world experience on a real-world happening that uh, prepping can be beneficial it didn't take me very long to find out what was going on um, in my local area and then, of course, nationwide because I had uh, those things in place ahead of time. But anyways, this is Modern Refugee. I hope this uh, outage out there isn't affecting everybody um, too much, but I wanted people to uh, know about it, and I wanted to use this as a teaching and uh, training tool to uh, explain uh, basically the importances of uh, having preparedness. But anyway, you guys have a good one.